about staying at the Hilton Los Cabos was the breakfast buffet and since we have status at Hilton we got free continental breakfast every morning that included oatmeal fruit yogurt pastries and even a whole yogurt bar but if you wanted to splurge a little bit you can spend an additional $15 every morning to include the hot bar and the hot bar rotated every single morning and it included both Mexican breakfast as well as American style breakfast. The Mexican style breakfast included huevos rancheros, chilequiles, migas, and chorizo. While the American breakfast included bacon, scrambled eggs, and a build your own omelet station. I still get really nervous. I, I can swim. But I'm just not the world's strongest swimmer. Whoa! I got nervous, but I'm back in. So we are at the beach right next to our hotel, the Hilton Los Cabos. And they have this tiny little cove. Woo! Big boy wave. There's a tiny little cove here that they've roped off so that the current isn't as like rocky as normal here in Cabo. Cabo is known for not having the most swimmable water, but this truly helps. I mean, it's swimmable enough. <laughs> the ocean makes me nervous. <laughs> I am not Moana. <laughs> Pull up the myself down. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm finally okay. <laughs> having a little bit of a ocean panic. <laughs> here in Los Cabos and we're about to partake in a couple of local delicacies and also some sushi because we're craving it. <laughs> this is a cool little haul only because it has a good little taste of everything. So it has um, a burger place, coffee shop and bakery, um, an Italian restaurant, sushi restaurant. There is even a, um, a ramen shop as well that you can come in and have delicious ramen but it's a nice little like stop if you don't really know what you want for dinner which is like today we wanted to get out of the resort but also partake in something fun and local and yeah here we are now we're waiting for our sushi and our grilled cheese and our elote so stay tuned they also don't have diet coke here they have coca-cola light which honestly tastes a lot better than diet coke figuring out what beers we want Trevor has to check the rating every time. <laughs> He's a beer snob. I do, but I don't know. I'm going to get a happy longer. Thank you. So, 
So we have some yellowfish tuna sashimi that our waiter actually caught himself this morning. I'm so excited. habanero off before I die. The sushi has habanero. the food scene here in Cabo San Lucas, I didn't think that it was going to be this robust. And I love how through their culinary skills, they are really showcasing and exploring other culture. I think it is really cool. Hi. So it's day three. Trevor and I kind of just playing by the pool, relaxing, taking in some sun before we head out to Cabo San Lucas and we are going to hop on a boat and go on a sunset cruise. I mean obviously we have to go see the arches and they're gonna go take us over some really beautiful waters today. The water seems a little bit calmer than usual. So hopefully we have a nice cruise and we're able to have a couple drinks and have a couple appetizers and just enjoy the waters of Cabo. We're gonna hop in an Uber right now and then it's gonna take us over to the port.
just like that, we're back. We may have had probably the best meal during this whole trip. Yeah, it was incredibly good. Yeah, the vibes were awesome too. I'm glad we found it. I'm glad Trevor found it. Yeah. Of course. He, it had to be a Michelin bib gourmand restaurant. It didn't have to be, but it looked really good. There were and there were two dinner options tonight, either this bib gourmand or one Michelin star restaurant. That's kind of true. <laughs> and we chose the more casual one just because it's our last day. We didn't really want to like dress up or yeah. get all fancy and bougie. Um, but also, yeah, didn't need like a three-hour meal. Yeah, that too. It was fun, short, sweet. The food was so good. They had like some incredibly creative tacos and different dishes that were inspired by local Cabo San Lucas cuisine. Um, and also really, really heavy mezcal drink menu, which was amazing because we don't really drink mezcal very much. Not too often, but the, the cocktail I had was fantastic. Yeah. And also too, it was managed by a cute little dog named Dados. Dados wanted nothing to do with us. <laughs> Our vibes were off, I guess, but I offered him like a little like tortilla chip and he was like, no, yeah. I don't want that. It's not steak. But that does it for our trip to Cabo San Lucas. I hope you guys had an amazing time watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see even more of our adventures. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>